this time out, we profile a true hero in the game of football and in the game of life. Number seven on our list of icons, the Iron Man, Iowa's Niall Kinnick. For as long as anyone can remember, fall Saturdays in Iowa City have meant one thing, Iowa football. The Hawkeye program oozes tradition, the black and gold, the swarm, and playing home games at Kinnick Stadium, named in honor of Iowa's most revered athlete and citizen. When you think of the University of Iowa, the one name that comes to mind to almost everyone is Niall Kinnick. Everybody I've ever met uh, that met him, came in, co in contact with him, or played with him, uh, they always start with Niall Kinnick, the person. And I think, uh, again, if you talk about special players, that, that's typically the case. Niall Kinnick was born July 9, 1918, in the small Iowa town of Adele, and raised by an intellectual and civic-minded family. Niall Kinnick grew up in a fairly aristocratic family here in Iowa. His maternal grandfather was a two-term governor of Iowa. Every Sunday evening, his family would go to his grandparents' house, and he and his cousins would read a chapter from a book or a poem, and then discuss it with the parents. So early on, he learned an appreciation for uh, speaking and, uh, and writing as well. After his junior year in high school, Kinnick's family moved to Omaha, Nebraska, where he starred in football, basketball, and baseball. When it came time to select the college, Kinnick faced a choice, return to his home state or join that powerhouse Minnesota program led by head coach Bernie Bierman. Everyone was hoping to play for Iowa, but Iowa stunk in the 30s. Minnesota's winning national titles with Coach Bierman up there, and that's not that far away from his hometown. So a lot of folks feared he might go to Minnesota. He didn't. The pool of his home state lured Kinnick to Iowa City. And when he first took to the gridiron as a sophomore, Kinnick's talent and purpose were easy to see. Niall was a tremendous athlete. Uh, you know, there's stories of him always doing 100 push-ups at night before he went to bed. He was very disciplined, very driven. Uh, he always wanted to improve. He was not exceedingly muscular, not exceedingly fast, but he had the determination and the know-how to put things together. He was extremely ambitious. He was the player who had every tool in his toolbox to control the game, and he used those tools. He was all athlete, uh, but yet he was an extremely brilliant scholar. Kind of reminds you of a miniature Red Grange or a miniature Bronco Nagurski. I mean, he was a little guy, 5'8", uh, 175 pounds, but he packed so much power into that frame. That's as a football player. He could inspire. He had that ability to say, we're going to get this done, and you're going to help us do it. He had uh, that athletic skill, but he also had the mind. In my recollection of uh, Nile, it would be the mind directed 